Those who love your instructions have great peace and do not stumble. Amen. Hair goals. Teaching you, yes you, to grow your hair to waist length. Are you frustrated at the rate of your hair growth? Has your hair been the same length for years and years? Well, you've definitely landed on the right video because I've started an entire series called Hair Goals, which will help you grow your hair to the best of your ability. In my journey, I've managed to grow waist length hair twice. Yes, I said that, twice. So make sure you watch until the end to find out how. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about how I grow my hair so long. I'm taking you guys through my routine from start to finish. Right now, I have hair that is very, very old, very, very crusty, but nonetheless, it needs a wash. This is a very old, braid out on blown out hair and I'm pretty much going to re recreate this style because this is what I've been loving. I'm going to actually focus more so on how I keep my hair stretched and low maintenance. I really want to go into how I keep my hair stretched for a long time and how I maintain moisture in my hair for a long time for optimal growth. So all I'm going to be using is this Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo to shampoo. Then I'm going to be using this Tresemme Conditioner to detangle using my God-given fingers. And I'm finally then going to deep condition using a mixture, which is the Tresemme, which I just showed you, some olive oil and some honey, simple as that. You can chuck in some aloe vera as well, but I didn't have the time to do that right now but this still works a charm, so I know you guys love these videos because you get to see exactly what I do day to day to my hair to make sure that it grows to its optimum length. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So jumping right into the shower, I'm gonna show you how to avoid breakage by using a great detangling method because most broken hair actually occurs via our own hands in the shower via poor detangling. So please do pay close attention to this easy method I'm gonna show you. So I've already sectioned my hair into four and shampooed in each section accordingly. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to re-wet my hair, re-wet that entire section and saturate my hair in conditioner. And at this point, you can then turn your shower off to make sure that your water bill is not extortionate. Working in each section, section your hair into even smaller sections whilst pinning the rest up and re-wet that smaller section, then gently finger detangle, removing any knots really gently with your hands. And if there are any that are just beyond repair, go ahead and cut them off with a pair of scissors, hair scissors only, because kitchen scissors will honestly just give you split ends. Hair scissors are designed to be very sharp to give you a good cut. So working in these smaller sections really does help as it really prevents you from being overwhelmed with larger matted sections. It will actually cut the detangling time and also reduce the manipulation and breakage caused from detangling. So once that section is done, go ahead and section another small section, re-wet and feel free to apply any more condition if you feel as if more is required. Then continue gently detangling and you know your hair is fully detangled when you can break your hands sorry, through your hair without any issues. And once that's done, move on to the next section. It's really, really important that you re-wet every small section as that helps to reactivate the conditioner and overall makes it a lot easier to detangle. So I hope that this method is gonna help you guys maintain better length and ultimately grow your hair to the best of your ability. <laughs> me post shower and this is how much hair I lost the hair that comes in the shower is not always broken hair it's a combination of mixed and shed hair I say that because I feel a lot of people get quite alarmed when they do see quite a large quote-unquote amount in the shower but you need to remember that if you haven't combed or brushed your hair for about two or three weeks guess what it's all going to accumulate in your hair and when you detangle that's when it's going to come out so a lot of the hair that is coming out in the shower quote unquote is actually shed hair and our hair actually sheds about 100 strands per day so imagine if you don't comb your hair for two weeks and on the 14th day you decide to comb your hair it's going to seem like your hair is falling out because i do get this question quite a lot so i wanted to just make sure that you guys were well aware the difference between broken hair and shed hair is that you will be able to see a little white tip at the top of a shed hair and that's like the bulb a little white tip and that indicates that it's actually 
falling from your scalp versus a piece of hair that is literally broken from one end to the other so that's that and i wanted to kind of show you guys how lovely my hair is doing so this is my hair post shower i twisted my hair into so four at the front and two at the back so hopefully you can see i don't want it to touch me because this is actually what I'm wearing for the day. I really want to stress the importance of good detangling because a lot of length retention actually happens in the shower, okay? Because you need to be aware that a lot of breakage comes from just, quite frankly, poor manipulation. And the time in which we're manipulating our hair the most is when we are detangling it. Hence why I really focus on detangling my hair safely, gently, break it, almost breakage free. There are so many more tips to length retention, but I think that's probably one of the most important ones. That and also keeping it moisturized and stretched. So I'll kind of show you what I do throughout the week to really make sure that my hair is stretched, to minimize single striding knots, breakage, tangles, all that stuff, and also moisturize, even with the blowout. So I'm actually gonna sleep in this overnight Mainly because I don't like to do too much of my hair in one day because quite frankly, I just don't have enough time. Am I lazy? I don't know, but I feel like this is enough time um, to spend in a day. However, I will say though that I gave myself a trim. And I'll insert some clips here and my hair literally detangled in half the time. So if you feel like you're spending hours in the shower, you might just need a trim. Link my Instagram as well in the description bar because I post so much more regularly on there. So if you want to get even more tips and even more from me, definitely follow me on Instagram. All I'm going to do is wrap my hair up to make sure that it doesn't drip all well, all over myself and yeah, I'll be done. I also get a lot of questions as to why I actually deep condition overnight, especially when I use these rinse out conditioners. So, I want to explain that very quickly. I have low porosity hair and low porosity hair is actually characterised by having cuticles that are really tight, okay? So if you imagine this is the hair shaft, this is the hair cuticle low porosity hair is characterized by having cuticles that are really tight so when moisture okay if this is moisture tries to penetrate the hair shaft this cuticle that needs to open to let it in is actually very hard to do so in order to make sure i get maximum absorption uh, you can do things to actually lift the cuticle and allow moisture to enter the hair shaft to make sure it's moisturized the ways in which you can do that is by using heat. So if you want to cut the deep conditioning time, you know, to like 30 minutes or whatever, what you can do is sit under a hooded dryer or anything like that with a conditioner in because that will open up your cuticles and allow your hair to be deeply, deeply penetrated with moisture. Or you can be lazy like me and just leave it in overnight because, because it's sat in for such a long period of time, basically it will penetrate the hair shaft well also. So with that being said, I deep condition overnight because I have low porosity hair that is resistant to taking in moisture and I've just found that it works best for me and I advise anyone out there to kind of look at my routine but not follow it literally to the letter but kind of understand the spirit to it in a sense where you kind of see my methods, adapt it to your hair type and then go ahead and have your hair flourish. So with that being said, I'm going to be sleeping in this partly because I'm lazy and partly because I'm not. But I want to give my hands a break because this is quite tiring. And yeah, this is me. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So this is my hair out of the shower. I have rinsed out all the deep conditioner and I'm just going to proceed to blow dry my hair with the red air. I'm going to be doing this in smaller sections, but I'm going to use some leave-in conditioner. I've kind of run out of my Giovanni and this is like a substitute for the time being. So this will work just fine. And also some blowout cream slash heat protector. So I'll be applying that to each section to make sure my hair is moisturised and protected from heat. I'm going to be using a low heat to kind of stretch it out. But at the very end, I'm going to put up the heat just to kind of like give it one last heat shot, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to be using heat all the time, but sometime. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I want to go into the detail as to why it is so incredibly important to keep your hair stretched if you have type 4 tightly coiled or curly hair because I guarantee you if you have this type of hair and you're not keeping your hair stretched 
you are almost certainly not going to have waist length hair. And the way in which you can stretch your hair does vary. It's not only blowouts, you can also do braid outs and twist outs. And if you are having issues with growing your hair to the best of your potential, a big reason could be that you are not adequately stretching your hair. So I'm going to go into the three main areas which I think are so important to keep your hair stretched. And that one is without stretching your hair, you get tangles. And tangles ultimately cause breakage. If you allow your hair to shrink up, post-wash stay it will knot up and it will tangle and you will do a lot of damage trying to detangle that mess so I just avoid it completely by keeping my hair stretched at all times at every wash day the second point is single stranded knots single stranded knots will deteriorate all the length you have because the only way to get rid of single stranded knots is to cut your hair and the more stretch you keep your hair the less likely you are prone to get single stranded knots the third and final point is moisture Without moisture, your hair will quite literally break off. And by keeping your hair stretched, it actually allows the natural sebum of our hair, which is excellent at protecting it, by the way, to get to the ends of our hair, stopping the breakage and allowing you to have long and healthy hair. So now you know the importance of keeping your hair stretched. I really hope that you will include this into your routine if you aren't already, because it does have a lot of major length retention benefits. Okay, so I'm officially done with blowing out my hair, thank God. And I wanted to just show you how much hair I lost whilst combing, etc. I must say with the Reb Air, it is a lot less. But nonetheless, some hair does come out and this is not necessarily all broken hair a lot of it will be shed but nonetheless your goal is to minimize the hair that comes off but do not be alarmed if some does come off because guess what our hair naturally sheds every single day okay this is what i'm working with i gave myself a trim as you guys saw and this is how my hair is looking like my ends are so thick like I know they were thick before but I feel like they're even more thick and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to braid my hair a little bit and then maybe do a half up, half down style or I might not even bother because I'm kind of tired of being in my hair and just rock my hair as it is. So I've decided because this is obviously a lot to deal with. I'm just going to braid my hair. But another key thing to ensure that you are retaining moisture even whilst your hair is blown out for possibly two weeks at a time is making sure that if you're going to do a braid out or blow out or even if you're not, making sure that you basically use an oil and the oil that I love to use is the hair strengthening oil from Minerva. So in each section I'm just going to put a few squirts of oil and then braid it all up and then take it out probably tomorrow. I would usually leave it in for a few more days but I actually have to film something tomorrow so I'm gonna just take it out tomorrow so yeah that's what I'm gonna do sometimes I won't lie to you guys my hair does feel overwhelming especially when it's blown out like so sometimes I like to just braid it because it helps to just compress my hair and just make it a little bit more I don't want to say manageable because our hair is manageable it's just a, li a little bit less volume although I love volume sometimes it's a bit like, like, look at me, I'm out of breath just from doing my hair, right? So yeah, just gonna square a few bits of oil for about two bumps. And I'm gonna make sure I link all of the products I'm using in the description bar, so not to worry. Um, yeah, no oil, no other product. I'm literally just adding some oil. Gonna finger detangle gently. And if I can, oh, run a brush quickly through it. And at this point, my hair is pretty, stretch so it's fairly easy to run a brush through it and also i trim my ends so they are loving it anyway so i'm just going to braid my hair also help it maintain um how stretched it is because sometimes even when your hair is blown out you can like crinkle up like especially at the ends so if you braid your hair you're giving yourself a break first of all it's a protective style, second of all, and also you get to protect your ends and keep it stretched for even longer. So you'll see throughout the week as I show you what I do, that quite literally it's a combination of braiding my hair with some oil and repeat. And if I want to refresh it, I might spritz some water in, but for the most part, literally I'm just braiding my hair as is and keeping it moving.
Oh, one thing I should note is that I don't braid all the way to the end. When I get like almost there, about there, I will then just begin to like twist. Or maybe a little bit lower, but I kind of run out of hair and I was just like, okay, it's probably a good time to twist. So I'll just twist it, but kind of rope twist. So I'm kind of like raveling on raveling on raveling. And at the very end, I will just kind of twirl it like that. And that's it. Good to go. <laughs> taking out those braids that I had on and this is how my hair is looking super cute I'm just gonna undo this side as you can see I'm not gonna fluff it out too much because I feel like with day one hair if you fluff it out too much it just becomes too frizzy too quickly so yeah I'm not sure what style I'm gonna do I might do like a half up half down we'll see so to take these down I'm actually using the Amira hair strengthening oil all products will be in the description bar just took two pumps of that I'm gonna make sure my I coat my hair in that and just proceed with trying to unravel these very gently try not to break apart so I'm obviously trying to unravel the twists and braids but I'm not trying to disturb the actual pattern that's been set if that makes sense so I'm not like combing through I'm literally just separating. Okay, so my camera may die really quickly. Um, so this is how my hair is looking. It's looking super cute, super defined. I love it so much. And I'll probably show you pictures as to how I style it. Like my hair is looking so bomb. I hope you guys are able to actually see Oh yeah, you can really see it. See how cute this is. So I'm gonna try and not separate it too much, but I'll show I'll show you guys why. You see what had happened was I took those braids out on Friday, and today it is. Tuesday and I just want to show you guys what my hair is looking like because sometimes this just happens in life You know, you just don't always have the time. So I've been rocking a bun for the past Saturday, well, Saturday, Sunday, Monday It's now Tuesday. So 40-ish days. This is how it's looking So it's not actually too bad Considering that braid outs on blowouts don't typically last a long time and I only kept those braids in for one night, that is all. I think this is not even a bad look. Like I would still wear this if I had somewhere to go, but I don't. So what I'm gonna do is put my hair back into braids. But I really wanted to just show you guys how my hair's looking. I've added no product whatsoever. It's just been like this and it still feels moisturized the hair strengthening oil that i use is just really even on blown out hair my hair feels good moisturized and it keeps the moisture so what i'm gonna do is pretty i think i'm gonna keep the same braid so i'm gonna do five on this side and five on this side and you guys will see and how i'm gonna do that is i'm just gonna spray some water on my hands because I don't want my hair to revert back and then I'm just going to apply a few pumps of oil this hair strengthening oil from a mineral this will be in the description bar below and rebraid I'm going to try and be a detangle but in reality I may need a comb we'll see we'll see but this is my hair guys pretty pretty I rebraid my hair I've already got my part and honestly guys this is the real trick to making sure your hair maintains its length because I've been doing such low manipulation, braiding my hair, unbraiding it for a few days and keeping it moving. So I'm going to just split this into half like that. And this is why I find it so, so important, oh, so important to 
just let you guys literally see what it is that I do with my hair because I get so many questions on how to grow hair and honestly the best way for me to show you is by pretty much showing you what I do on a on a day-to-day -day basis so this is my hair I want to make sure it's stretched and I want to make sure it's moisturized and once I've done these braids I'm also going to be putting in some hair growth oil you'll see that but for now I'm just going to split this back section into two then I'm going to split this th top section into three so that will give me a total of one two three four five on each side and yeah so I'll show you what I'm actually doing and then this is exactly what I did to get the braids initially and my hair came out really beautiful like I won't even lie it was so nice my hair still feels quite moisturized but because I want this, this hairstyle to last probably for another week I'm going to make sure that I reintroduce a little bit of moisture, not too much that so my hair reverts, but just enough to keep it going. So I'm going to keep these braids in from today, which is Tuesday. I'm going to take them out on Saturday. Now I'm going to wear my hair out for a few days and we'll see. I might keep it in for a bit longer. I might wash it. I might do a new style. We'll see how it goes. This is what I'm going to do. Literally spray my hand like that. Then just two pumps of this hair strengthening oil. It's got amazing ingredients. It's got olive oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, and vitamin E, all of which are great at strengthening the hair strand and also maintaining that moisture, which is such a key thing in preventing hair breakage. So I'm just gonna try and gently detangle the situation I have going on here trying to remove that shed hair you can see so this literally just comes straight out hopefully you guys can see it. and I think I will show you how much hair sheds because it, as I'm always saying guys shed hair is not broken hair okay there is a complete difference and you need to really just be able to know the difference so I'm being very gentle and my hair to be honest is quite easy to detangle especially because I've just had a trim When I get to the end, I'm just going to add a little bit more of my hair strengthening oil because your ends are the oldest part of your hair and you want to make sure that they are moisturised. Make sure that they are So this is me it's kind of cute I think you know but we're almost finished I'm just gonna apply some of some hair growth potion to my scalp and this is the perfect time to do it because my scalp is easily accessible with this I'm kind of put it in the parts and like also in to the actual braid Ooh, this scalp massage is everything and the smell of the peppermint in this is just like so relaxing this is a great like nighttime routine if you want to do to your hair so i am pretty much gonna go around with it if i'm not laying around and being lazy then i can walk around like this no big deal but because i probably am i will probably put it in a very loose ponytail like very loose because what i don't want to happen is get like a little kink in the braids so i would put it in a very loose ponytail my beloved headscarf it's gonna be me pretty much for the next few days and um, if i leave my house i'll probably whack this off and like wear it in, in a little bun or a little ponytail and honestly guys in this time of lockdown quarantine let your hair thrive if you can keep these braids in for three days at a time please do it your hair will thank you so this is me what i forgot to tell you was this is how much hair that was removed Woo! in just that session of finger detangling so this is very normal as you can see i have very thick luscious hair 
shed hair is normal. If it is excessive and you may need to seek professional advice, it could be something wrong with stress in your life, look at your diet, look at all of these things because all of this honestly contributes to the health of your hair. Healthy hair is a, is a sign of good overall health, if that makes sense. So with that being said, that is, that is me. Hello, 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 beautiful people. So, um, excuse my background, I'm in my spare room and as you can see, we just use this place for storage and things like that. But I wanted to kind of just update you guys with what exactly it is I'm doing with my hair. I've been wearing these for about a week now and I'm pretty unashamed. I tell you that because first of all, this is low manipulation. I can just rock my hair in a little hat or a little pony and go about my day. And I'm pretty darn sure when I take these braids out, it's still gonna be a cute little hairstyle. What I've been doing in the meantime is literally wrapping my hair in a headscarf and making my way out. That's literally all I've been doing every day for the past six days. So I just wanted to show you guys how my hair is looking. During this time of quarantine, this has been the best time to grow your hair, especially because there's nowhere exciting to go. So really and truly, you don't need to be looking super cute you just need to be looking somewhat presentable and honestly i just use my hair growth oil i'm back again many many days later it's thursday now i'm just going to take these braids out but what i'm going to be using is this mineral hair strengthening oil which i'll link down below um, and yeah i'll show you how my hair is looking after <laughs> So I'm just going to apply some of this, especially to the back of my head um, and the ends and just fluff it out a, li a little bit and yeah, that'll be me done. And because I've kept these in for a long time, they're going to last a long time. So the longer you leave the braids in, the longer it actually lasts. And what you want to try and do is not separate it much on day one, that way it will last a lot longer. So I'm not going to do too much. <laughs> Feeling still so good, still feels good and moisturized and amazing. And overall, I've managed to keep my ends protected throughout that whole period. And I've got a really cute style. Majority of the fluffing I'm gonna do is literally the back of my head to make sure I don't have that line going down it. But that's mainly it. All right then, I think that's all I'm gonna do because it will get bigger as the days go by. But that's me guys. So this is how my hair is looking at the end of the night and all I'm literally going to do is put it up into a bun So this is how I maintain it. If it's dry I would add oil but it's fine I basically twist it but not too tight and like just do that So I just put it in a loose bun Tie it twice That's it I'm good to go to sleep And then I'll just tie this around my edges This is really important Hello guys, so this is the morning after and I wanted to just show you really quickly how my hair is holding up, how it preserved overnight. So I slept in, you can probably hear the shower, but I slept in that headscarf with my hair literally in a bum. That's how my hair is looking. To prevent my hair feeling super dry, I will just use a few more pumps of this and apply it mainly to the back and to a bit of the ends. My hair is pretty much good to go. Today I don't have much going on, but I'm probably gonna wear it in another bun. And every so often, every three to four times a week, I will just go in with my hair growth oil into my scalp. Nice little head massage. It feels so nice and refreshing. <laughs> So that is it for me guys. I will catch you on the next video. Make sure you watch the entire series and do not forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye.